<laughs> Hello everyone, my name's Harry Bota and we're going to be chasing after the White Moose Lake Voodoo Fish Monster. Yeah, I, I, I am really bad at a British <laughs> British accent. I, I can do like a Cockney accent, but I, I, I can't do like Harry Potter's. No, no. Uh, anyway, yeah, we're at White Moose Lake today, as you saw by this picture here. And uh, today we are chasing after the White Moose Voodoo Fish Monster. According to an old Native American legend, the Voodoo Fish waiting... <laughs> It is again over 40 pounds comes out of its abysmal hideout only when earth and moon are in specific alignment with Kulat Nunu, the brightest star in the Pisces constellation, use the special voodoo shells as bait to summon this mysterious fish and prepare for a tough fight. Yeah, everything that I've seen about this specific alignment thing. I don't I don't know about that don't know about that um yeah I'm just hoping that it's nighttime we're gonna come out to White Moose Lake we're gonna throw uh, these voodoo shells out in the water and we're just gonna see how we do um, if you want to know how to get the voodoo shells it's really not that hard I don't have a video about it but basically you just drag a lure uh, on the slowest speed along the bottom and over time you'll pick up shells um, yeah that's basically how I did it uh, not even trying to um, and I I got pretty much every lure that I have already that I don't have a Bo Explains video for. I got without trying to even get it. So uh, yeah, here we are, White Moose Lake. It's midnight. It's it's uh, it's spooky. There's pumpkins. What do we got here? Candle end and a jawbone. Jawbone. That's very scary. So you would think with a name like Harry Boater, I would totally go into this boat, but I'm not. I'm not going to do that. Um. Tell you what though, I do have this rod that is 26 pounds. You'll you'll read in the mission details. It uh it says to put it on a telescopic or a match float rod. Now, from what I've heard, you don't necessarily need to use a float rod. You can use a bottom rod if you want to, but we're gonna try. We're gonna try it, everyone. Um, I am going to put the uh, longest that this can go because White Moose Lake is notoriously very deep. Um, so we're going to just put that like so. Um, from here, let's see. The Skelehan, 10 to 27 and a half pounds. The fish weighs around 40 some pounds. So this would be quite a battle, um, but I'm willing to give it a shot. And then of course we have the Perutus 9 foot 10. This has been one of the rods we've caught a lot of the fish on. So uh, yeah, 11 to 35 pounds there. 36 pound drag, uh, four odd hooks, uh, 33.9 pound line there, and 23 pound line on the other one so yeah it's gonna be quite a battle on one of the rods not so much on the other one we'll take the Halloween rod and we'll put it way down um, and yeah we're just gonna throw it out I'm gonna put my uh, my carp rod holder here so we can uh, know when we have a voodoo fish on the line but I think we're just gonna throw it out along this mountain uh, cliff edge here I guess I'm not really sure it's pretty high up though um, yeah let's throw these two out and see what we can get. Kerplop! Yeah, let's give it a go. Ooh, I already had a ding on that one. The bait was pulled too far away, the fish is gone. What do you mean? What do you mean? Bay was pulled too far away. Bay wasn't pulled too far away. You don't know. You don't know bait. You think you know bait? Already got a ding again. Dings all around. Oh, oh, oh. This doesn't seem like a super big fish. This can be the voodoo fish. We got a burbot though. We did catch a burbot. That's a good sign, I think. Oh, we got a bite on the other one. Well, that's good. At least we're catching the right fish. <laughs> okay, two burbots down. Golly, this is gonna be like the the terror tarpon all over again and we'll get the big brutus rod and we'll throw it out deeper deeper farther stronger it's voodoo shells whoa that guy just got taken what is going on what is going on right now goodness gracious Ooh, this is a stronger fish i haven't been to white moose in such a long time it's a really pretty lake though. Oh, it looks like a little lake trout or something. 
It is a little 11 pound leg trout. Well, right on. Boy, we're going to level up before too long. No monster fish just gets pulled in, especially a 44 pound one gets pulled in by a 27 pound rod. A trophy bourbon this time. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh my goodness. This rod, I'm telling you, that's, yeah, that's bigger. Still not pulling us out though. Another barbet. Another barbet. A trophy barbet. Whoa! The Halloween rod is off again. It's off to the races. 20 pounds. 20. Oh, 12. I was closer the first time. Okay. Whatever. Whatever. We're off to the races with this one. Still not very big, though. Ugh. Ugh. It's absolutely worrying that the other rod is getting no attention whatsoever. I don't, I don't know why. I don't know why it's not getting any attention. My goodness gracious, the Halloween rod. Hello, real. What is going on today? Running what? Well, this one's a little heavier, isn't it? It's like, it's putting up a battle, but it's not putting up that much of a battle. Maybe we got like a unique bourbon or something. <laughs> if this is the monster fish, then this is the most lackluster monster fish battle we've had since, uh... Oh, since the Elder Gar, probably. It's like he's being a pain, but he's not like a monster fish pain. Oh! Well, how about that? He's just being a slow fish. <laughs> Look at that rod bit, though. I tell you, the one thing I really like about the Skelehand is just how, like, uh, see how many drag settings there are? There are so many drag settings on this rod. You can you can just adjust it for whatever you need. Versus the other one, I think it has like like the Brutus reel for for some reason has like eight settings. This one has one, two, three, four, five, six, twelve settings. Oh no, now we have to listen to beeping. Yeah, there we go. Got him away from the 60s anyway. Oh, he's getting closer now. Can you see him? Oh, he's right up close to the top. Oh, his fins are sticking out of the water. There he is. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. Troll bogeys. I'm like trying to think of Harry Potter quotes. I really am. Look at this. There he is. Whoa. Look at him! Look at him! <laughs> that is so awesome! Oh my goodness gracious. That is so sweet. Look at the freaking like spells on him. He's got spells. Look at him. He's got spells. That is so freaking sweet. I feel like we need to go closer to the fire so we can actually see him. Run Weasley! Run Weasley! There. Now we can see him better. That's pretty, it's a pretty fish. That's cool. The voodoo fish, everyone. My goodness gracious. I mean, it wasn't like an epic battle by any means. Like we threw it out there. We caught, how many fish did we catch? We caught uh, eight. I think we caught eight fish maybe. And then we caught this guy. So, I mean, he was out there. He was hanging about. Um, he has all these little voodoo spell things on him, which is pretty cool. Um, other than that, I mean, he's just kind of, He's just kind of a big, fluffy fish. I mean, he's, what was he? He's 41.899 pounds. Um, and we can take a look. We can take a look. Uh, this will be kind of cool. We'll have the flames on us. Oh, I got, he nailed. Oh God, he nailed. Oh God, he nailed. You look terrible. Oh, he, I think your cloaking device is not working anymore. Oh God. That's okay. That's okay, bud. You look fine. Don't you worry. Don't, yeah, you look fine. You look normal. I tell you. I tell you the truth. That is pretty freaking sweet here. So once again, 1,329 experience, 41.899 pounds there, 52.921 inches long, $3,421. Not too shabby at all for this voodoo monster here. That is pretty freaking sweet. And we just threw out some float rods and, uh, and got them. Let's keep this guy. We'll uh, take a look at what he looks like. But first off, of course, new. Oh, wow. We leveled up. 
How about that? Level 45 there, $1,500. One Bay Coin. We unlocked the Gary Scott Corvus Bass Boat. That's pretty neat. Mono, more Mono Line, Fish Tower XL, Titanium Leader, uh, the Kraken, 8,000. Carp Ranger, Ambusher, 9,000. Some more Boilies and Pellets. Nice. And Ground Baits, 30-pound uh, Carp Leader there. Oh, and the Triple Hold Rod Stand. Definitely getting that. Especially, it's only like $9,500. So, definitely getting that. That will be pretty sweet. And of course, here we go. White Moose Voodoo Fish Monster. Congratulations with your monsters catch. Here are some great rewards for you. So on top of the money that we got from the Voodoo Fish, we also got 4,470 experience, $3,990 and two bay coins. And then of course, the Voodoo Fish Mount, which we'll see right there. That is so cool. I love all the little spells and stuff on him. That is Awesome. Voodoo fish Loda magic magicus. According to an old Indian legend, this mythical fish belongs to an extinct species that possessed magical powers and was distant ancestor of today's burbot. Apparently, the last remaining specimen of its kind, this age-old monster dwells in an abysmal hole somewhere in the deepest part of White Moose Lake, comes out to roam close to the lake surface every once in a blue moon. <gasps> a blue moon, blue moon. You saw me standing alone. No one knows exactly how long this archaic creature has lived for, but judging from the ancient markings of northern indigenous tribes on its back, the voodoo fish was a part of some magical rituals that date back to over a century. And here, of course, here it is right there. Wow, we zowie. That is, uh, that is a crazy looking fish and all the little markings on it. You can't tell. But uh, they actually looked like etchings instead of just like uh, instead of just like painted on swirls. They actually looked like etchings in the photos that we took. So that's pretty cool there. The voodoo fish from White Moose Lake, everyone. I hope this video was entertaining. I hope it was helpful in case you're going out there to get your own voodoo fish. Tell me about it in the comments. Should be a great time. Easy fishing. We caught it with a 26, 27 pound rod. So uh, feel free to come out here with whatever you got and give your uh, give yourself a chance at the voodoo fish at White Moose Lake. If it was helpful, if it was entertaining, then like and subscribe really helps us out and uh, you know be a part of the BZ Hub community because if you're part of the community, then of course you can show up to our Wednesday Wednesday live streams every 7.30 to 9.30 p.m. Central, Wednesday nights, every week. Fishing Planet, um, make sure you friend me, BZ Hub on Fishing Planet. We'll play as a community. It's great fun, and uh, I love meeting people from the fishing community. It's just, it's it's awesome. So, uh, yeah, I hope you're having a great Halloween season. I hope you're enjoying these Halloween videos. Um, but, yeah, happy Halloween, everyone. Take care. And... As always, everyone, expecto patronum. We're one planet, one family. Game on.